sometimes even now, even at 36 years of age and all the squash experience, he still has this kind of... Oh, oh, that is, oh wow. Uh, that, just, <laughs> that looked like a uh, break dancing. <laughs> yeah. That really was. It was... Uh, <laughs> the double him. flick. Yeah. Well, he did well there. He's very Great athletic, George Barker. So three game balls for the young Englishman. Looking really it's good out there. Stroke. That will be a stroke Just all day long. So George Parker comfortably takes the first in the end. Serve, to be honest, needs to stay up the court. This is good pressure from Parker. He's trying to stay in front of two minutes. Oh, he's had a oh. shocker. He's had an absolute yeah. line all there. Yeah. Ollie two minutes. That was a shocker. Good squeeze though from Parker. I mean, I, I do believe that was a stroke. He was actually quite close oh, to him, and it wasn't excessive, but that's well, a bad this error. Is, this is a horrendous error. Bad from, error. 10-7 uh, up. Oli Tumanin's given away two unforced errors and a stroke, and Parker is on the uh, brink of scoring a major scalp hit. Have the uh, breakdown like this. So match ball for the first time for George Parker to win three love in this first round. I mean, he's got to take this, surely. He's been gifted this last bit. And there's another one. So, good result there for George Parker. Oli Tumanin having a bit of a shocker at the end of that third game. But all credit to George Parker. Well, 40 minutes for this first match of the first round, and it's the Englishman, Fantastic. George Parker, overcoming the number eight seed, Oli Tiemannin, 11-7, 11-9, 12-10, <laughs> three games to love. Charles Sharps is steaming ahead. There's no stopping him here. This is a terrific first game for the young Englishman. Five game balls to convert. He wants the stroke. He's off, but he's got the stroke. So Charles Sharps has had a very promising first game against Iqbal. See there, he's gone for the cross court nick at the same pace. Everything's at the same again, it's, it's all at the same pace, and it's just playing into the hands of Iqbal. He's got to hit the four corners, it doesn't matter that you slow the pace down, you can still play at quick tempo but not hit the ball at 100 miles an hour. See, there was the situation. He's going short off in the back of the court. He's playing somebody that's really mobile, that likes to counter drop. It's a lot for Charles Sharps to do. It's a poor end, really, from Charles Sharps.
That's a lovely length from Sharps. Now this is a decent response. Can he maintain the discipline? Poor shot from Iqbal and tidied it up beautifully. Yeah, he's getting the run of it here, Charles yeah, Sharps. Yeah, certainly. There's a bit of uh, hip bumping. So game ball to go into a fifth. Variation here, Joey. <laughs> oh, the variation's gone out of court. What Iqbal is doing here is very, very difficult to play against. I just stayed in. Iqbal's playing, playing his best rally to date in this match on match ball. It's a good shutout. It's going to be a no let. Taste of his own medicine there for Iqbal. Yeah, absolutely. Second bounce in the nick. Perfect length and a shutout, as you say, from Sharps. Just moving back to the tee, which is what Iqbal was doing earlier. Yeah, somehow I feel the referee is going to be involved. I hope that it's uh, oh, one in the right way. That was close. That, that was. Uh, shaved the, uh, the whiskers of uh, <laughs> Sharps' calves. That's a great shot. Yes, He's done what it. a shot. What a battle for Charles Sharps. He's closed that out. Terrific shot. Hickbell does have to shake his hand. I'm not sure he's going to. Well, he's not shaking his hand. He needs to actually shake his opponent's hand there. So no shake of the hand. Hickbell furious. But Charles Sharps, what a tense victory there. 81 minutes and a mammoth 29 minute fifth game. And it's Charles Sharps that overcomes Nasser Iqbal of Pakistan, 11-5, 7-11, 8-11, 11-9, 16-14, three games to two. So after a lengthy rally there, it's the organised left-hander with four game balls. That's quite a strange little uh, interchange there from these two. Olsen determined not to play anything else other than straight. So Kandra takes the first game. Lost his accuracy here, Kandra. And you see the fist pump there from Olsen. He takes the second game. Well, the battle begins between these two players. What a hustle there from the Danish number one. Well, the Dane is absolutely storming around this court. <laughs> Kandra trying to tidy things up as best as possible. Well, he's and given up on that one, yeah. and that's a real heartwarming... Uh, Situation for Raphael Kandra. See it here, he accelerates nicely onto that ball. One of their best squash players in ter terms of ranking has been Lena Hansen, the female squash player, who is now married to Cameron Pilly. Got married this summer in, uh, in Vegas. As you do. Well, he's well. come right in behind him there. I mean, that's an extraordinary movement. The ball's right in the front wall. Look where he's standing. And is that a backswing that he's shown? Well, that's there? very odd. Look, look. Oh. Thank you. I find that extraordinary, Parky. He's just slipped in the back behind him there, and uh, the ball was right on the front.
Well, he's relaxed a little bit, as, as you know, Joey, it can often be the case. And well, he's, that was uh, slightly weak. Well, there you go. That's uh, plenty of testosterone there from the Viking. I think the referees have just run for cover. So a real hustle from Olison. He's managed to book his place into the second round of the Click Sergeant St. George's Hill Open here in Weybridge, overcoming Rafael Kandra. 6 11, 11 6, 11 9, 11 7, three games to one. Uh, he's not taking any prisoners here, Simpson. These guys from the same junior age group, Parky. That's uh, oh. too good a shot there. It was a, a poor width, really, from Creed. See, he's turning the ball from behind himself, so. What a beautiful shot, though. Pressure here from Creed. Can he maintain it? Oh, that was the way. Ferocious. Wick. Yeah, he really had a good opportunity to make the Welshman pay on that high boast. See the frustration there from the Welsh number one, just trying a little bit too much. He's, he's played well at the beginning of this second, and it was just millimetres down. Great control there. Just sticking the arm out there, Peter Creed, and but keeping great balance on this backhand volley. That's a wonderful touch. Could be the, the Welsh wizard with some uh, some advice. It's very, very quick. Scampering around here, and he's forced the unforced error. And there's the growl. They'll be going absolutely bonkers on the island of Wakiki. Still buzzing around the court though, Creed. Wow, thanks for coming. That was pretty impressive. It was beautifully set up, wasn't it? He's done it, so Chris Simpson will be happy to get off court there. Difficult customer, Peter Creed, very, very quick and uh, some excellent rallies from the Welshman. He'll be, he'll be quite disappointed though with uh, his error count. 57 minutes and it's Chris Simpson that overcomes Peter Creed, three games to one. 